on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D Artwork tutorial and this time um, we are going to learn how to apply the dielectric material in Maya 2014 so the thing is that in Maya 2014 uh, Autodesk actually took some of the shaders we usually use and they classified them as in uh, a new uh, menu uh, they're named, <coughs> they're named as um, Maya Legacy uh, shaders and especially with the dielectric material which we have uh, some kind of issue in order to apply it to uh, an object um, I'm not sure about others but uh, I believe it's, it should be the same procedure with most of them and if not uh, maybe most of them will be applied as usual but we are going to focus on this dielectric material because this is what bothered me uh, at the moment okay uh, so let's start um, the thing is I'm going to create a sphere okay and press 5 to get shader mode and if I will right click and choose assign new material as I was doing in Maya 2013 Okay, so um, basically I should have had uh, the dielectric material here in this menu, which right now we don't have it here. So the only way to apply it is actually go over uh, Window, Rendering Editor, and open the Hypershade. So here at the Hypershade, we are going to expand it a little bit. Okay, all four size, okay, three size sides it's enough we're going to choose the legacy material here and here you can find this dielectric material but we're going to click once and as you can see it's here okay and while it's here um, we can make modifications to it we can change the color and everything but um, when you want to apply this to the sphere I will put this over here and move in the work area we are going to click the middle mouse wheel and hold and drag and drop it over the sphere so you can see it becomes green okay now in most cases the first time you do it it won't be applied uh, as in here okay um, I will try to show you what I mean First, I will change the men to mental ray and try to take a render, okay, like so. Okay, so you see, the in the port view we can't see anything. The render view. I will add a um, physical sun and sky, okay, and try to render this. and still yet we don't see anything now this is some kind of uh, it, it looks like some kind of bug but um, I'll show you in a second how we are uh, going to fix this so we choose the sphere we are going over the attribute editor which you can approach by uh, um, tapping control A okay on your keyboard this will open the attribute editor sorry this is the attribute editor and from the attribute editor you go to the dielectric material tab here and you go over surfaces material click on this checkered box choose the legacy material from this menu and the dielectric material again and voila now we have this dielectric material and we can choose a color to it and finally to render this out so this is how you <coughs> uh, dealing with this dielectric material and probably you will get more of those nonsense uh, in some other shaders but um, I just want to provide this as a solution for you guys whoever are using glass materials probably must have known this uh, how to deal with it um, most of you probably already figuring this out but still yet um, I felt necessary to update about this um, 
another thing. Uh, in my Facebook fan page, which uh, I mostly provide tips and stuff like this, uh, things, conclusions, um, I posted uh, an article, article uh, of a person called Nelson Cruz. Um, is some kind of uh, I don't know admin in this forum, uh, which talked about uh, which uh, the subject in this forum is Maya and is one of the staff there and he provided a mail script. So uh, this mail script sh should replace the original file in Maya 2014 in order to fix those issues without you need to manually uh, do what I just um, show you. So one c conclusion that I had after uh, dealing with this script is that it's not really fit correctly to this version and it can make uh, Maya crash. Okay, so if you already did it or uh, try to apply this mail script instead of the original file uh, script, um, if you find even, uh, I don't know, a bit of what I'm saying about the crashes is true, so do yourself a favor or reinstall Maya 2014 all over again or uh, if you backed up this file, uh, the original file, uh, put it back to where it's supposed to be and don't touch it, okay? Um, usually uh, Autodesk will uh, try to do some modification to their application and uh, sometimes things become a little bit more tricky and you should do manually things, but that's okay. Uh, it's giving you more skills, more knowing about shaders, and above all, um, I think it makes you uh, better operating uh, this uh, app, okay, better knowing, I don't know. Okay, so, without any further uh, stupid things to say, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in a new tutorial whenever I have time to create one, okay? So, see you soon.